My friends Craig and Nay Greenfield entered into a slum in Cambodia to live incarnationally among the people, to, to live at their level alongside them in the scrap wood and metal um, shacks that they were living in. And one of the things that they didn't go to do was to uh, start a breastfeeding movement in that slum, but they did. Craig and Nay um, get pregnant and have a baby there in the slum. Nay starts breastfeeding. You know, government agencies at this point have worked hard to try to get breastfeeding to no avail. Non-government agencies trying to work and do some teaching in this community. Still, people are using formula. Craig and Nay move in, have a baby, start breastfeeding. The baby becomes massive, just fat, plump, good, healthy baby, and the neighbors are just baffled. How is this happening? Surely you're feeding this baby formula. And Nay's like, look, we don't have privacy here. You, you can see everything about our lives. I'm just breastfeeding this baby. And quietly, unobtrusively, breastfeeding takes off on, in this slum. Uh, dozens of babies' lives saved because they're living alongside people incarnationally as they do, just living life. And God is using their life in a flourishing way, in ways that they're not even intending, um, because they've chosen this path of incarnation, like Jesus chose, leaving the most gated community in the universe to live in a peasant village and said, you know, as the Father sent me, I'm sending you. They figured that means we go live with the poor as poor. And the kind of transformation you're able to see as you enter in incarnationally alongside people is just beautiful. You won't be able to predict the kinds of changes, kingdom changes, transformation that you're able to bring in that approach. Thank you.